बैंकिंग सेक्टर में अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ की बात करें तो हर साल हज़ारों वैकेंसीज़ रिलीज़ होती हैं चाहे वो आपके आई के एग्ज़ाम्स हो जहाँ पर पी ओ क्लर्क और एस जैसी वैकेंसीज़ निकलती हैं चाहे हमारे एस बी हों या फिर आर ग्रेड बी एग्ज़ाम्स हों स्टूडेंट्स रीजनिंग का इन सभी एग्ज़ाम्स में बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल है और जैसा कि हमारा पज़ल वीक चल रहा है तो आज हमारी रीजनिंग की क्लास टू है जहां पर मैं फ्लैट एंड फ्लोर बेस्ड पज़ल को डिस्कस करूंगा स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ अंशुल मलिक एंड एम करंटली वर्किंग एज गवर्नमेंट ऑफिसर इन सेंट सेक्रेटरीट सर्विसेज और आज मैं आपको एक बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट कोर्स के बारे में बताना चाहूँगा अल्टीमेट बी बैंकर कोर्स स्टूडेंट इस कोर्स में हम आपको गारंटी देते हैं कि आपका 100% परसेंट सिलेक्शन दो सालों में करा के रहेंगे इन सभी बैंकिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन या फिर इंश्योरेंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में आपको पता है एग्ज़ाम पैटर्न सिमिलर है हर साल हज़ारों वैकेंसीज आती हैं चाहे आई बी पी एस पी ओ क्लर्क हो एस बी आई पी ओ क्लर्क हो आर आर बी पी ओ क्लर्क हो या फिर ई सी जी सी पी ओ है तो यहाँ पर प्रॉपर हैंड होल्डिंग के साथ डेली लाइव क्लास स्कड्यूल की जाएंगी और हम ये गारंटी देते हैं कि दो साल में आपका सिलेक्शन किसी भी बैंकिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन या इंश्योरेंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में हम करवा कर रहेंगे नहीं तो आपके पूरे पैसे वापस कर दिए जाएंगे स्टूडेंट्स ये लिमिटेड ऑफ़र है मैं आपको ये बताना चाहूँगा कि ये जो 100 परसेंट रिफंड का जो ऑफ़र है वो 31 जुलाई 2022 को एंड हो जाएगा तो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में लिंक है आप डेमो कोर्स विजिट कर सकते हैं एक बार चेकआउट कर सकते हैं एंड यू कैन मेक योर माइंड ऑल्सो मैं आपको बताना चाहूँगा कि हम एक ई सेमिनार कंडक्ट कर रहे हैं ऑन मंडे दैट इज़ एटीन जुलाई टू एट एट पी एम मिस विदिका बंसल जो एक्स बैंक पी ओ ऑफिसर रह चुकी हैं वो इस सेमिनार को लेंगी और टॉपिक होगा कि बैंक पी ओ और बैंक क्लर्क में क्या फ़र्क है और आपको किस तरीके की तैयारी करनी चाहिए पूरा गाइडेंस आपको दिया जाएगा रिगार्डिंग वर्किंग आवर्स जॉब प्रोफाइल ट्रांसफ़र तो आप इंटरेस्टेड हैं इस सेमिनार के लिए तो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में लिंक है आप जाकर रजिस्टर कर सकते हैं so in this question directions have been given to you and you have to read your directions carefully in order to answer each and every question so seven persons p q r s t u v live on separate floors of a seven story building but not in the same order the ground floor of the building is numbered as 1 the floor above it as 2 and so on right and each persons like different dry fruits name of the dry fruits are also given to you and each person like different kinds of chocolates and name of the chocolates is also given to you you have been given further directions which you have to read very carefully and you have to solve your question but before proceeding i am drawing an empty table so that with the help of these direction i can fill my table right now we'll start reading our statement number 1 or direction number 1 with the help of which we can solve our question so it is given to you two person live between the person who like milky bar and silk see student this is not a concrete information with the help of which you can fill your table so you can write it as a small hint in some corner and you can use it later while filling your table right now the next statement says the person who like canberries live on the floor number 4 so this is a concrete information you know that canberry is your one of the dry fruit which can be placed at floor number 4 so i am writing c over here which represent canberry so c r you can write it because cashew is also there so in order to avoid the confusion now p does not live on the lower most floor that means p cannot live at the first floor so i am writing p over here which represent that p cannot live in this particular floor right now p lives on any odd number floor below the one who like cranberries students the person who like cranberries lives on floor number 4 and the odd number floor below cranberries is only 3 because p cannot be placed at floor number 1 so the exact positioning of p is at floor number 3 so i am writing p over here 
Now it is given that only two person live between the pea and the person who like walnuts. Now you cannot place walnuts below pea because there is no space for it. So you have to place walnut above pea and there is like a gap of two person. So you have to place your walnut at floor number six. So I'm writing WAL over here. Now, if you read the next statements that two person live between the person who like five star and twix, only one person live between Q and U, U lives on odd number floor, who does not like Canberra. So these are not concrete information, right? So you have to look for a concrete information or the linking information with the help of which you can fill your table. Now, if you focus on like your statement number four, wherein it has been given to you that V lives on even number floor, but neither immediately above nor immediately below the floor of V. So from this, you can deduce that V cannot live at floor number four. Also, V cannot live at floor number two. Now, we can only live at even number floor, right? So the only place for V is sixth position. So I'm placing V over here. Now you know that only two person live between S and the one who like cranberries. So see, this is your place for cranberries. Now with the help of this information, you can either place S at first position or you can place S at 7th position. Now I'm forming the two cases where in first case I'll be placing S at the first position and in our second case I'll be placing S at the 7th position. Now you know that U lives on even number floor and does not like cranberries. So if you focus on the first case and you know that if U lives on your even number floor and does not like cranberries. So the only place left for you is your second position. In second case also, if you lives on even number floor, the only place left for you is place number two, because you cannot place at fourth position because you does not like cranberries. So I can place you at second position in both the cases. Now you know that only one person live between Q and U. So I can place Q at fourth position in both the cases because I cannot place Q below U because there is no space for it. Now we will connect three statements. See students how to link this statement. The person who like cashews does not live on the topmost floor. So you know that the person who like cashew cannot live on your seventh floor. So I'm writing cashew over here because you cannot place cashew at seventh floor, right? Also, it is given to you that the person who like cashews lives on any floor above the Q's floor. So any floor above the Q's floor, the only vacant space for cashew is fifth position. Right. If you focus on the both cases above Q, the only place for cashew is fifth position because you cannot place cashew at the topmost floor. Also, it is given to you only three person live between the person who like cashew and fig respectively. So there is a gap of three person between cashew and fig. So you can place fig over here in your first case. Also, you can place fig over here at first position in your second case as well. Now you know that R does not like cashew or fig. So if you focus on the first case, R cannot be placed over here because he doesn't like cashew. Also R cannot be placed over here because he doesn't like fig. So the only place where you can place your R is this one and the left out person is T, you can place T over here. Now, if you focus on your second case, so you cannot place R at fifth position because he does not like cashew. Also, you cannot place R at the first position because he does not like fig. Now, there is no space uh, apart from these two positions where you can place your R. So you have to like delete this particular case because this case is invalid and you have to proceed with the first case only. Now you know that V does not like polo. So you can write 
P over here because Polo cannot be placed at 6th position along with V. Now you know that the person who likes Milky Bar lives one of the floor above the floor number 5. That means Milky Bar can be placed at 6th position or at 7th position. Right. Now you also know that the person who likes Silk lives one of the floor above your floor number 3. That means the person who likes Silk can live at your floor number 4, 5 but above your floor number 3. Also, there is a gap of two person who like milky bar and silk. So if I place silk over here and I know that there is a gap of two person between the person who like milky bar and silk. So I have to cut it down uh, your milky bar from this sixth position because according to this particular condition, I can place my milky bar at the seventh position and with the help of which all these three conditions get satisfied. Now you know that the person who likes 5 star lives immediately above the one who likes silk. So the person who likes 5 star will uh, stay at your floor number 5. So I'm writing 5 star over here. Now you know that two person live between the person who like 5 star and twix. So accordingly you can place twix over here because there is a gap of two person between the person who like 5 star and twix. Also, there are two person live between the person who likes silk and who like gems. So you can place gems over here because silk is over here, right? Now your polo cannot be placed over here. So you can place polo over here and your remaining Kit Kat over here, right? Also, you know that the person who like blueberries live on the floor immediately above the person who likes almonds, right? So you can place your blueberry over here and your almonds over here and the rest remaining is raisins. So you can place raisins over here. So this is your complete table with the help of this. You can now answer any number of questions. Now your first question is how many persons live between the floor on which you and we live? Students, you know that you live on second number floor and we live on sixth number floor. So clearly there is a gap of three person between you and we. So the correct answer for this particular question is option number A. Now next question is which of the following statement is and are true according to the given information. Your first option is T lives on floor number five and he does not like silk. So students, if you focus on your statement number one, clearly T lives on your floor number five and he likes five star. So this option is absolutely correct. Now your second option is P likes blueberry and he does not live on the floor number four. So P likes blueberry. It is given in the table and he lives on the third number floor. That means he does not live on the floor number four. So this is also right. If two are right students, so your answer would be definitely all statements are true. So you can check with the rest of the statements. But if my two options I are right, why I need to check further options, right? Now in the next question, it is given to you who among the following like the blueberries. So clearly P is the person who like blueberries. So the correct answer is option number D that is P. Now your fourth question is who among the following live exactly between the floors on which T and P lives, right? So your T lives on fifth number floor and your P lives on third number floor. So clearly Q lives between T and your P. So the correct answer is Q. That means option number three. Students, I hope that you have liked this video. And thanks for watching I Exam B.